Gen V has started off with a bang, putting out three episodes that have ramped up the tension in the series to a high 12 on a scale of 5. We've got campus conspiracies, top ranked students blowing themselves up, a teenage soup that doesn't quite know what being a soup means, and a bunch of college students that do know what it means. But play along with Vought's script anyway. Calling it a wild ride would be putting things mildly, and things are only about to get wilder from this point forward. That's because episode 4 is where things go from standby mode to full-blown teenage superhero story. Episode 3 ended with Andre Anderson's attempt at being a hero blowing up in his face in a way he did not expect. And now Mary's roommate and Golden Boy's brother's lives might be at stake. And worse, Andre might not have to look out for himself out in the big bad world because he might just get into some serious trouble at home. At least that's what Amazon Prime's bonus clip teasing Episode 4 tells us. So without further ado, let's get right into it. These are our theories and predictions for what will happen in Gen V Episode 4. And before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. I know you're here. As soon as they turn off the electricity, run. What are they Emma escapes with Sam, but she ends up becoming suspect number one. The first thing we see in the teaser for episode 4 is Dean Indira Shetty picking up a tiny yellow shoe user a pair of tweezers. This is followed by her telling her colleague Dr. Cardosa to use the whole security team for something to which Cardosa says half of them are dead and Shetty fires back by telling him to use the other half. The purpose for this exchange seems to be creating a search party for Sam because it is clear that he has escaped from his cell. We don't say this just because episode 3 ended on a cliffhanger implying that this was possible. The episode 4 teaser shows Shetty and Cardosa in an empty cell, investigating a gruesome scene left behind by Sam, with him nowhere in sight. The cell itself has the same punch-shaped holes in its walls that we saw in episode 3, as well as a little blurred silhouette of the payback poster we saw in that same episode. But how does his escape mean trouble for Emma? Well, for starters, Shetty should have a detailed profile of each student in Godolkin University on her computers, and Emma's power to shrink in size is surely listed there. The fact that she found a little Cinderella shoe in the year of a dead guardsman should narrow down her search for the person aiding Sam in his escape by a long mile. We also see a shot of Emma with a black-haired individual on what looks like God Yu's football field, and towards the end of the whole teaser, she shows up wearing a blue hoodie, clearly having roughly cleaned off some blood from her body and says a lot is happening, presumably to her roommate Mari. This implies that Emma breaks Sam out of the woods and just takes him back to her dorm room because she wasn't exactly the one who decided to do this thing in the first place. And she sure as hell wasn't the one who planned for things to go down the way they did. Needless to say, it looks like Emma is going to have to do a lot more puking before this season ends and not just for her YouTube channel. As for Sam, well, in the This Semester on Gen V segment that was attached to the credit roll of the first episode, we see him fighting multiple guards and talking to Emma in his civilian clothes, so we know he's probably not heading back to the woods immediately. There's also the romance angle between the two, because episode 3 saw a few sparks fly among them, and what good is a superhero series set on a college campus if it doesn't have love in it? As for how far that goes, well, we'll have to wait and watch. Speaking of watches... Because there's, there's this underground hospital where they keep everybody in the... Who else would be told? Andre has a brutal falling out with his dad, which might end up threatening his and his friends' lives. One of the most shocking things that happened in episode 3 was the revelation that Andre's dad already knew about the woods, although that shouldn't have been clear from the beginning of episode 2, considering polarity is a part of the god you trust is. The fear that was in his eyes when he told his son he doesn't want to see him get killed was very real, but polarity might just be underestimating how badly his son wants to be an actual hero. Andre Anderson is one of the best characters in Gen V. Chance Perdomo really nails his anxious righteousness and confident second-gen soup act on the head. Episode 3 ended with him informing his friends of the situation he put Emma in, and it looks like he's not going to stop himself from doing similar things in the future. There are two scenes from the Episode 4 trailer that clearly suggest a falling out between Polarity and Andre. The first is a scene where Andre, in a checked blue jacket, stands in front of his dad's statue at Godu and then crushes it using his powers. It happens 
runs after his dad reminds him he won't be able to save him if he goes through with his stupid plans. This lines up with his ideals because Andre Anderson is a guy that truly wants to be a hero, but he's just finding out his hard-ass dad is covering up things that harm several human beings, including his best friend's brother. He knows he can't talk about it, so the next best thing is to take it out on his dad's statue for him. There is another scene in the teaser which is brief, but it shows Andre and his dad side by side, with Polarity finding out something that clearly upset him. It's possible that this has something to do with Mari's arc in the episode, but we'll get to that when we get to her. For now, we are sticking with Andre and friends, because they are not going to stop their little extrajudicial investigation for no one. At multiple points during the trailer, we see Andre's friends discouraging him from doing something. Jordan Lee tells him they don't even know what they're doing properly, while Kate tells him they are in over their heads. The trio is standing on a field with floodlights behind them and a fence in front of them, so we are guessing this is Andre's attempt at finding the other test subjects whose files he saw next to Sam's. Kate might be right, and she might also be killing herself in pursuit of helping her friends out, because she keeps getting weaker the more she uses her powers, and she's already on a lot of medication as it is. But Jordan Lee is the more interesting one for us, because they will be involved in one of what appears to be two separate fight scenes in the upcoming episode. Dr. Cardosa gets a surprise visitor, and so does someone else. One of the more enigmatic parts of Gen V so far has been Dr. Cardosa, the bespectacled horror that operates the lab down in the woods. Cardosa's only concern before hammering a needle down Sam's spine was, what were his co-conspirators gonna do with their lead guy dead? That's all you need to know about his moral stance on things. It looks like Cardosa isn't going to stay a mystery for too long, because he might be playing a big role in episode. Episode 4. There is a brief shot at the beginning of the teaser for the episode 4 that shows someone breaking a table inside a home and a man sheltering another man and a child from the impact of the blow. This man clearly looks like Dr. Caldera, and the other guy must be his husband, at least according to the listing on IMDb. Who attacks him? It could be Sam, considering the guy did just break out of his prison cell, and he pretty much remembers every detail that he's ever heard or seen outside the woods, so we are going to stick to that for now. Plus, the table was a stone table, and Sam has super strength, so the MO checks out. Cardosa is also begging off the attacker with a look and a stance that suggests he's done this before, so we'll see where that goes. What will be more intriguing is to see whose house the Gordyu gang breaks into, because a fight breaks out there as well. But we don't know who the participants are going to be. We know that Andre, Jordan and Kate are gonna break into someone's house, and Andre will use his mental powers to bring something out of what looks like a closet. Then he'll get into a fight where he will get knocked on his back thanks to a wall, and Jordan Lee will fire off a sonic blast that sends someone crashing through the living room windows. If we had to guess what they were doing, Andre was probably leading his friend through his dad's home to find actual proof about the woods, or maybe the home of one of the people who knows about it. They get caught breaking in, a fight breaks out, and the outcome isn't clear right now, but it will be soon enough. Which brings us to our final part. Marie decides to be a hero and cause a tag team cock explosion. One of the craziest scenes of the Gen V trailer was the moment when Marie Moreau seemingly makes a dude's penis explode with her blood powers, and then talks about it with her girlfriends when Jordan says tag team cock explosion. Well, said cock explosion will probably be happening in the next episode because the same clips were used in this teaser as well. Marie's arc in the next episode is going to most likely be her accepting her inner feelings inside of her logic and being the hero that she came to God you to be. We see her fighting using her blood powers inside a house, which means she's either going to be with Andre's group or Sam's at Cardosa's house in the next episode, if you guys stick to our interpretations of the whole thing. She might also be finally coming to grips with just how much soups get used by Vought, and starting to unironically become Black Starlight like Dean Shetty and Courtney Fortney think she's going to be. A confrontation between Mari and Indira, especially after the woods ends up getting exposed to the former, is inevitable. It's what happens after that makes things so saucy. Our best guess is the whole crew gets labelled as outlaws and expelled from Godu from their sneaking around which ends up putting them on the run until they figure out a way to prove their innocence and Vought's obvious guilt. They might even end up linking with the boys for this, but that's for the finale to answer, we think. This is as far as we go with our predictions and theories. Marvelous Verdict 
So what do you guys think? Will the guardians of God you screw things up and get captured and packed off to the woods themselves? Or will they get the job done against the worst corporation in the history of the boys universe? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more Gen V content and we'll see you guys in the next one.